The star stands 8 inch dub, it's a good Dobsonian and telescope. I say it's a good, in my opinion, because it's a Dobsonian telescope and it's 8 inch. The fact that it has that push too might be an advantage for people in light pollution environments or heavy light pollution because it will help you to find the objects. In my Bortle 5, now Bortle 5 6, even like that, with all the LEDs that I have now, I can use the Telra and it's much easier. Remember to, with a push, to will not track the sky. What you are watching here is a star that's not moving because the telescope is over an equatorial platform. So it tracks the sky. I place the Dobsonian. You, if you have an equatorial platform, you can place the star sense over it. But the push to that has the star sense, it's only to find the object. Then it will run away from the eyepiece or camera. It will not track. The go-to system is the system that tracks the sky, which I strongly recommend if you have the money, the additional money, because later you will find it uh, a need. Even more comfortable to observe visually, because it's tracking and you just have to watch. And it's a myth that the go -to, with the go-to you don't learn the sky. That's a myth. You don't learn the sky if you don't want to learn the sky. If you have other priorities. If you want to learn the sky, you learn the sky even without a telescope. It's how I learn the sky. Even without a telescope. You sit there looking at the sky with an application to to see the to check the, the constellations that you are watching. Look at this star. The star is okay, it's this one. And this is the constellation. Oh, I'm watching the constellation. If you don't have heavy light pollution. If you have, you will learn it anyways.